Hi, this is Jason with Everyday Apple, and I want to talk through uh, what I think are five essential Mac apps. Now, uh, Mac OS comes with some terrific apps built in like Pages, Keynote, GarageBand, um, Notes, and so on. I mean, these are great apps. Um, Mac OS Mojave has some additional apps like News and uh, Voice Memos, which are great. So there's a lot of stuff built in already, but there are some third-party apps that can really help you go to the next level, and I think these are must-haves for any Mac user. Let's start with Hazel. Hazel is an automation program for your Mac. This is a great program and can help you be more efficient, can help you keep your Mac cleaned up. Uh, I know if you're like me, files end up everywhere. Hazel is a system preferences pane that sits there and uh, based on the settings that you set up, it will watch certain folders. And when a certain file appears there based on how you've set it up, that file can be moved automatically or renamed after a certain time period, uh, any other criteria. And there's so many options. Uh, you can see here, you know, I just set up a couple examples. Like uh, if I have a, so Hazel in here is watching the desktop and it's saying, okay, uh, if a PDF is there and the rule is this, uh, if the date it was added to the desktop is not in the last week, well, and the kind is PDF, so it is a PDF, then we're going to move this to a different folder. And you can say, okay, I want to move it to, you know, a different folder. You can choose whatever folder you want. Uh, perhaps you've got a more permanent place. And so you can have files land on your desktop and then automatically move them after a week to a more permanent spot. That is a small slice of what Hazel can do. There's so many options. Um, there are some um, rules that Hazel builds in for you automatically when you download it. Um, there's old items that will take care of for you, uh, movies, music, pictures. Uh, so they kind of get you started with some really effective rules. Um, but this is the only app on the list I've got for you that it's going to cost you a little more. It's $32 at noodlesoft.com. But man, well worth you spending the money. Um, they do have a trial download, so you can play around with it for a little bit and um, then go ahead and jump all in. Uh, once you see what it can do, I think you're going to be really impressed and want to stick with it. All right, next I want to recommend a text. Now, some of you might have used Text Expander or still are. Um, I think that's a great app and a great solution. They have they've gone to a subscription model, and I just don't prefer that myself. So I found a text, and it's very similar in functionality to Text Expander. Uh, perhaps Text Expander has some advantages that I'm not aware of. That's fine. If you know that, I would love to hear about it in the comments. But as far as um, wanting a tool that um, can do a lot and doesn't cost very much money, Atext is a $5 app that you can get and plug in all the shortcuts you want to plug in, and it will fill in what you need on the go. So um, if you love shortcuts, um, you know here's here's the interface right here. So when you open it up, you know, you have all of your different uh, shortcuts. You know, and one example is perhaps you've got a city name that you use a lot. Perhaps you live in uh, Waxahachie and, and it's a difficult to spell. We can just set up a shortcut. So every time you type semicolon WX, you get boom, Waxahachie. So uh, that's just basic functionality that's there in um, iOS. It's in your Mac. It's in Text Expander and A Text. Um, the advantage to a program like Text Expander or A Text is you can build out um, beyond just having uh, basic text. Uh, you can do more complicated fill ins and pastes. So when you type your abbreviation, you can have a lot of content fill in. Whereas with the Mac, the basic functionality in the Mac, there are a lot more limitations. So if you love these kind of shortcuts and there's, you have things that you type all the time, and get a text. It is a great deal. It's solid. Um, if you're going to download it, though, don't go to the App Store, the Mac App Store, and do it. That version apparently doesn't work with OS X. They have it. They have a comment there on that page saying, "Hey, come to our website and do it." So if you're going to download it, um, go to trankynam.com so, uh, slash a text. I will send. Uh, I'll put this in the description below so you can 
go right to it. Another program I use every day is called PaceBot, and I highly recommend this. It's a very simple clipboard manager. Um, this is one of those programs where um, if you have a few things that you want to copy before you go paste, you don't have to go back and forth. You can just copy, copy, copy. You know, you've got five, six things you want to copy, and then go to your document, and then choose each one of those and paste them in. Um, Man, this is a great tool. It's very simple. You can see it just opens up its own window here when you click the, um, the little widget, whatever they call that, at the uh, menu bar. And it's got all the last few things that you've um, copied. Now, this list is pretty long. Like, there's a lot of stuff on here. Um, it remembers a lot. And so whatever you've put on the clipboard, I think, I think there's like 100 items on there, you can go back. And I have found myself at times saying, oh man, what was that thing that I copied out of that one website? And I'll go to PaySpot and I will find it. And it'll be the only place where that information was kept for some reason. But boom, there it is on the clipboard. So uh, I highly recommend PaySpot. Um, I've had it for a while. I don't remember how much it is, but this is an app store app that you can pick up. The next app is called Acorn by Flying Meat is the name of the company. I love that company name. Um, Acorn is a alternative to spending big bucks on Photoshop. I have used Acorn for a long time. I continue to upgrade it every time they have a, a major upgrade. Uh, it's a great program. Um, I don't need all the bells and whistles of Photoshop, but I do need a program that is a lot more powerful than Preview, which comes for free by default on the Mac. Uh, so Acorn is a great tool for editing images, uh, creating something new, and a lot of the tools you can see um, along the side here that, uh, man, there's a lot of stuff that you will find in Photoshop, smudge, eraser, you know, pencil, so on. Um, now, I am not a graphic designer by any stretch of the imagination, and anytime I try to be one, I fail miserably. Uh, but Acorn is just what I need to basically create some standard stuff, um, and it's really easy to use. So I highly recommend Acorn. And finally, the last app I want to share with you is a standard antivirus protection. It's called Sophos Home. Now, there is a mythology out there that says you don't need antivirus software if you're a Mac user. That is not true. You should have virus protection if you're using a Mac. So um, Sophos is a great tool. There's uh, a free version that I'm currently using. I'm actually uh, considering doing an upgrade to their premium. Um, it's right now I've, they've got an offer for 30% off and um, I'm really considering that because you get uh, some extras if you end up with the premium level. So, uh, but the standard, I mean, they've got um, antivirus protection and web protection. And it's always watching to make sure that uh, file you download is not going to blow up your Mac. Um, the key thing, of course, is to don't open any file where you don't know where it came from or you don't know what it is. It's amazing how many people end up with a virus on their computer because they opened a file unsure of where this came from. <laughs> so don't do that and you're halfway home to having antivirus protection. The other half, you need to install Sophos Home. So I'll put the link down in the um, description below. Please subscribe if you are so inclined. I think you can click on the screen here or down in the description below. Thanks.